Awaken Thorin's skin. World cleansing dragon. I think the attack boots was uh was the way. Slow him down just enough. Snyder's going down to 2 SP. I'm gonna put it on this guy. Hit Hanya. Let's go. And then we're gonna full send this shit right now. Went back up to three. Down to two. Back up to three. Dawn hung turn. Down to one. But this should remove the other mark and give us back to two. Back to two. So far, we've been able to keep up with three. about Hanya, the newest four-star harmony physical character that has been released in version 1.5 who has a huge amount of speed and could also replenish skill points for your team aka any dawn hung mains out there Hanya could be a very good asset to bring to your team comp she gives speed she gives attack she gives skill points and she makes the enemy take more damage as well with her skill ability we're gonna dive into everything her light cones relics Eidolons, the whole shebang team comps. Let's get into it. Jumping over to the light cones here. Memories of the past, which probably some people might have. It's a gotcha light cone, but at S5, you are increasing the wearer's break effect by 56%. On top of which, whenever the wearer attacks, you're regenerating eight extra energy. I would recommend memories of the past because it does provide energy and break effect for Hanya if you so find yourself in that situation to break the enemy. But most importantly, because... It's just a better version of meshing cogs so not only are your base stats going to be better for hp defense for more survivability but meshing cogs is quite literally the same flavor text after the wearer uses attacks or get hit additionally regenerate eight energy s5 now in this defense meshing cogs is going to be a lot easier to actually uh superimpose to s5 so i'd probably recommend meshing cogs as your first light cone to jump into if you don't have a maxed out memories of the past but this is still good nonetheless it can only be triggered once in a single turn as well so meshing cogs is going to be my number one pick i guess or memories of the past is going to be my number one pick meshing cogs if you don't have memories of the past s5 that and if you want to get funky and mess around with stuff maybe you could throw in dance 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 as well here for whenever you use your ultimate all allies action will be advanced by 24 percent if you want to get funky me myself I'm most likely leaning towards meshing cogs here just to keep her alt up 24 7 because Hanya's bread and butter is basically her talent and her alt you want to make sure you keep using her ultimate to apply those buffs for your dps the speed and the attack buffs meshing cogs helps that and makes it so you can technically keep your that buff on an ally indefinitely let's move on here so Hanya's speed starts at 110, pretty high, and you get nine extra speed as stat bonuses as well. So obviously you are gonna wanna try and jump and make sure you get these other bonus abilities, all three of them, so you can get those bonus speed stats as well. But just covering over them really quick, allies triggering the burden skill point recovery effect have their attack increased by 10% for one turn. That's basically her E ability that you place onto the enemy. Bonus ability, Netherworld. If the trigger count for the burden skill point recovery effect is one or lower, when an enemy is defeated, you recover additional skill points. Basically meaning if that curse mark is on the enemy and you end up killing them when the effect was only at one or lower, boom, you get two skill points instead of one. Pretty cool. And the last one is reanimated when burden skill point recovery effect is triggered, character gains two energy. So even more energy gain for Hanya. Now, Hanya is a very simple character to build and use. You really don't need to worry about these attack bonus stats. Spoiler, she's not going to be doing that much damage. However, she excels with her talent here, which is the number one priority thing that I would recommend because you can keep this on the enemy 24 7. When an ally uses basic attack skill or ultimate on an enemy afflicted with burden, the damage dealt increases by 30%, lasting two turns. So 30% more damage you're going to be doing to the enemy on your skill. I would recommend that as a top priority and then second would be your ultimate increasing the speed of your target ally by a certain percentage of hanya speed and increasing the same target allies attack by 60 percent also lasting two turns 
those are the main two things you have to worry about you can skip on the auto attack you really don't need to auto attack besides most of the time you're going to be using your e 24 7 and you're able to use your e 24 7 because of the skill points you get back i literally ran so many i, I ran donahung team comp with hanya and like ting yun or asta and bailu i was able to keep my skill points up afloat for the entire memory of chaos floor 10 and still use don hung's triple e attack every single time no problem so i'm confident to say and that's with bailu if you have like a locha or someone else that can also generate more skill points you'll be flowing and swimming in skill points you are able to technically e constantly with hanya i want to say that so if you do want to level it up a little bit for extra damage you can me personally i don't think it's necessary i stopped at six i think it's fine she's not really here for damage she's here for the buffs and to make the enemy take more damage that is my little consensus on that all right quickly moving over to relics here best in slot in my opinion i think is going to be messenger traversing space more speed is more speed for your target ally because of her ultimate so keep that in mind you want to keep building speed and for the four piece whenever the wearer uses their ultimate on an ally speed for all allies increased by 12 percent for one turn so boom even more speed for your ally really good really great and then after that for the two piece i would say broken keel so you get effect res so she doesn't go under the influence of any bad negative effects on top of increasing crit damage for your entire team this works for like nine out of ten characters team comps 90 percent of the time broken keel is a safe play for support characters there are some other options out there like Penaconi and von whack me personally i don't like von whack because it is a situational thing it only works for one turn and in memory of chaos when there's multiple turns you're not benefiting from that second effect you do get five percent energy regen but i would recommend if you do want that run Penaconi instead for five percent energy regen and ten percent more damage for all allies if they're the same type now you don't really need energy gain with hanya if you're running meshing cogs you should be perfectly fine to keep your ultimate up damn near indefinitely on your ally as long as you have meshing cogs so you don't really need the energy regen two piece broken keel is what i would recommend because of that and in terms of like main stats here hp attack either defense or hp for your chest piece speed boots obviously hp or defense on your orb and energy regen probably mix them up if you go defense on the chest probably go hp on the orb and if you go hp on the or on the on the chest go defense on the orb vice versa i'd, I'd probably mix it up and not stack it but let me know what you guys think either or i think it's perfectly fine in all honesty substats mainly prioritize speed for the substats effect res and then anything that's going to give you survivability defense and hp that's pretty much it but speed is going to be your number one go-to effect res is going to be your second if you want and then you know survivability defense hp and now last but not least we got the eidolons here so e1 when an ally with hania's ultimate effect defeats an enemy Hanya's action is advanced forward by 15%. Triggered one time per turn. It's okay. You know, it's okay. You have to kill the enemy. E2, after using the skill, the character speed increases by 20%. E2 is actually really good because you're going to be using your E pretty much constantly. So that's just more speed for Hanya, right? Really great. E4, though, gets wild. The ultimate's duration is additionally extended for one turn. That essentially means that buff that you have, the speed and attack percent, goes from two to three and now with mesh and cogs as a combo you literally keep that buff up on any dps indefinitely no worries about that for three turns that's huge e4 is actually very huge so if you are rolling i'd say try and shoot for that if possible i got unlucky sadly and then e6 is increasing the damage boost effect of the talent by an additional 10 percent which is the how much damage is the enemy going to be able to receive additionally so if we go back to the talent here i'm maxed out at 10 they're taking 30 percent more damage right or we could pump that from 30 to 40. and that's pretty much it in terms of team comps i like running don hung with hanya for that extra skill point gain it does help manage that so i run don hung hanya yu kong was really nice i didn't even need an asta to be honest and then i just ran bailu i was able to get by just fine with my don hung with 106 speed because of the speed buff that hanya gives she's that good i don't need asta anymore i don't need speed boots anymore attack boots and we're good to go it felt nice we cleared memory of chaos i think in like two cycles or something it was very beautiful lovely to see uh there are some other team comps you can kind of get around and get funky with like i want to try and do in the future mono physical team comp su shang hanya maybe sw and then another physical unit like natasha but realistically probably links so it's a double quantum double uh physical and then you can try and make that work i think su shang 
Hanya and SW is also a great combo. Lynx as the last sustained character with their cleanse and overtime healing. Sister? I think it's good. Of course, <coughs> I do think Hanya would also be really good for the newest Argenti character that just released. So another physical character right there. But yeah, that is Hanya, the newest four star character in Honkai Star Rail. Let me know what you guys think about her. Let me know if you guys ended up rolling for her, if you guys are saving for future characters. I think Hanya is great. I'm actually really glad that we ended up getting her. Uh, and she was very simple to build. We literally, it's day one. She's been out for about like an hour now. We already maxed her out. We got her talent and ultimate already maxed out. Didn't take too many traces because again, only talent and ultimate needed. Three star light cone. And then just speed stuff, man. As a baseline, you're getting 144 speed with her talent and with speed boots i have one piece that has six speed here and another piece that has six speed and that's it the gloves don't have it the chest piece doesn't have it the energy regen rope doesn't have it and we still managed to get 163. so we could extend her speed easily and go up to like 175 if anything she has insane speed she's very easy to build and she's very easy to use in your team comps let me know what you guys think about hanya that's the guy that's the build join us over on twitch if you guys want to ask any more questions comment down below and i'll be happy to respond thank you guys very much for watching i will right, we'll catch you guys in the next one